Hey guys, it's me, Zell. Just wanted to check in, fill you guys in with what's going on in my life. Um, I'm sure you've noticed much less videos being posted. Um, I'm st streaming less. Um, just going through some chronic health stuff. Um, if you may or may not know, I have an uh, autoimmune, autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's. Um, and most of the time, I'm fine. And sometimes I have what's called like a flare. And I've had flares that are very short and different symptoms. This one's been pretty um, weeks long and feeling like it's compounded issues, different things going on. So I, uh, a few couple, two or three weeks ago, I um, completely like revamped my diet. I'm on a really restrictive diet, kind of basically like an elimination diet, if you've ever heard of that. Basically you limit all the typical reactive foods and then eat that for a while to kind of balance out your gut and then you slowly reintroduce them keeping out things that you react to and keep adding back in things that you're fine with so i'm still in the middle of that and a lot of time it's exhausting um i went from somebody that barely cooked i admit i eat out a lot of meals or i get very easy meals convenient um Think of like instant noodle bowls or um, macaroni and cheese, that sort of stuff. That's just the way it is. Um, and now I'm cooking every meal, everything, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, because that allows me to control and there nothing exists really that I can have that falls within my parameters. So. All is that to say, sounds very first world problems for sure. Um, but for me, doing all that while trying to work and going to the store, spending hours cooking um, while on top of feeling already not great, just kind of compounds things. So. Um, didn't give me, it's really hard for me to, uh, focus and have energy to want to record. Um, but it comes in waves. I was able to make this video cause I actually did a nice walk this morning and I did a yoga thing that actually was very therapeutic for me. Um, and I'm going to try to add that to my practice regularly because it's amazing somebody commented on my twitter and it's very real that um psychosomatic is a big thing for me i deal with anxiety on top of that exasperating all of the physical things i'm dealing with if not in some cases creating them right your brain is a very powerful thing it's very connected to your body your immune system your gut all that um how you hold your body tension muscles all that um so that's what I've been dealing with. Uh, chronically, I've been a what you consider a worry wart or um, just anxiety prone, hypochondriac since I was very little. And I've learned, and I've gone to therapy and learned many tools over the years. And for the most part, it doesn't affect my day to day as often. But there comes times when, especially when I have these really compounded um, difficulty that it makes everything feel helpless at times and if those of you who also go through it understand um, it feels very scary and lonely at times um, I tend to be a catastrophizer which means uh, if there's something wrong with me it's the worst case scenario which as you would know is very unhealthy and not a good mentality and there's the logical part of my brain which is like 
no, you're not dying. And the other part of me that's being like, actually, this is the real time now. I'm the rare chance that I have this condition. So, yeah, that's what I've been going through. Um, it's a battle at times. Again, the mind is something that can dictate a lot of your life. And um, I am do using all the tools that I have to the best of my ability, going to doctor's appointments, um, therapy, getting better about cooking healthy meals, and adding in gentle exercise into my routine to keep me active but not exhaust me that sort of thing anyways i feel like i'm rambling the should i share that um that's kind of what i've been going through um and hopefully maybe if you're out there and you deal with chronic illness or pain or a condition and you're feeling like um you're not really feeling like people are giving taking you as being um not seriously but i'm losing my train of thought brain fog is is a symptom that can happen with this condition too but um yeah it it can feel very lonely and it feels like people don't understand you I feel like because it's invisible illnesses, right? They're like, just do it, just get better. Same thing with a lot of mental health issues. Like, um, just go exercise and your depression will go away, right? It's, uh, while well, yes, it can help, it's also really hard in that moment to get yourself in that mentality and that mindset to actually do it. So, all I was to say, just wanted to share my story. Maybe you out there can relate, understand. Um, I do plan on still reacting. I'm just prioritizing my health right now. And I, it's just one day at a time. Um, so that might mean I step back or videos come out a little less often. But um, yeah, I, uh, I just got to take care of take care of me and, and, and figure out what I need. And sometimes that means that I need to slow down and be more calm and peaceful. So if it seems like sometimes I'm like, I seem more like dull or whatever, it could be either that I'm feeling uncomfortable or it could be that I'm just trying to practice more being calm and peaceful and calming my sympathetic, parasympathetic, or activating my parasympathetic instead of being always fight or flight mode because I'm always dealing with that inside in case you didn't know but this video's just gone on and on now but yeah if um I guess that's all I'm not necessarily I'm not sharing this to like garnish sympathy or anything I just thought I should share and I know for me I've been watching like TikTok videos and hearing other people's stories be sh told and it's really been helpful for me. So maybe somebody out there, one of you guys, whether you have an autoimmune condition or chronic pain or a mental health, something that feels debilitating and you feel alone and people don't understand, know that I understand and that there's other people out there and it does get better and take one day at a time. And if you need to do things slower in a different way, at a different pace, that day in that moment, that is great. That's what you need and to check in with yourself and to be kind and compassionate with yourself. Um, cause especially in this busy world, it's always go, go, go. And we think we have to do everything at 110%, but it's okay if you need to manage based on how you're feeling. So anyways, thanks guys. Um, hopefully y'all feel up to react and continuing to finish like Miss Marvel. And obviously with upcoming Star Wars movies, shows, like Andor, um, and other stuff coming. And, uh, yeah, otherwise, I would, if I'm still being kind of active, if you just want to hear moments or random things I share on Twitter, go follow me over there. It's Gazelle. It's Gazelle with a Y at the end. Let me just double check. 
yeah, gazelle, like my YouTube with a Y at the end. Um, I am doing some TikTok videos occasionally. Some of them are clips from my stream and other things. Um, so you can check out that. That's Gazelle Star. And then if you want to follow me on Twitch when I stream, that's um, twitch.tv slash Zell. That's X-E-L-L-L-E. -L -L -E. That's three L's. So those are just places I recommend if you want to go. I also have Instagram. I'm not super great at using that. But that's Gazelle underscore at the end. So anyways not going to edit this video so it is what it is but thanks for being here guys and i'll see you on the next one